I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. There we go. So, Nick Valentine successfully rescued. We'll go and meet him in a minute. But first things first, we'll just quickly make sure none of our villagers are under attack. Nope, good. So what we'll do is we'll travel quickly to um, Sanctuary to get rid of some of the spare kit we've picked up, dump stuff in the workshop. and see what we can do to make our weapons a little tougher. With the science perk, I may have access to some nastier stuff for the laser rifle. So we may be pushing the legendary rifle a bit further. Which would be nice. And I'm almost level 31, so I might even be able to tip myself Yourself over. And nothing. No fear. <laughs> So if you haven't seen it yet, the Sims Settlement mod, which can be found on the Nexus and through the in-game mods menu, is absolutely awesome and I heartily recommend it for anyone who wants to play um, the Settlement game. We could really use your help. Oh, hello. What's going on? Is there some kind of problem? We're having a lot of trouble with a group of raiders. Raiders to kill. Yay! Supplies. Do you think you can persuade them to leave us alone? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Oh, good. It'll be a relief not to have to worry about them. Corvega assembly plant. Right, we'll do that later. What was I saying? Yes. So the Sim Settlement mod allows you to place plots in the style of Sim City. You can set residential, commercial, and industrial plots. The residential plots obviously um, allow the settlers to build simple housing. Um, this is the simple level, just sort of little shack things. Then they upgrade to level two when the people are happy and comfortable. And these have doors and get a slightly more complicated inside, as you can see. And eventually they upgrade to level three when the settlers are fully committed happy, comfortable, yeah. have had all of their needs met for a while, and they turn into slightly more complex multi-story properties with lighting, lots of decoration, uh, as you can see here, food on the table, chairs laid out, the uh, bed upstairs with, with little touches like their personal drugs, and Look, there's even a shot, uh, shotgun with some shells there by the side. This is one of the simpler houses. There's some, they're all uh, sort of randomised, and the guy who coded it even coded in some uh, VIP houses, which are sort of weird and more complicated. Um, I believe this is one of the VIP houses. It has a cooking station on the ground floor and lots of lighting. And Ooh, excuse me. And as you can see, it's it's slightly tidier and a little bit more neat. Uh, and it obviously has these lovely strong lights on it. Um, this one over here ten, is the weirdest one I've found so far. Uh, it has patio furniture. Some kind of weird windmill. If you press the button inside... Drops a random item after a little bit of time. We'll just have a look around here and wait for this to drop. It took a little time last time I did this, I don't know how long it's meant to take. Fair, it only drops a teddy bear. It's not like it drops massively valuable loot. No, no, no. Not gonna drop. Okay, I'll come back and check it later. It usually drops an item. 
might take a little time to recharge. This is an industrial plot. It started out as just a lump of scrap that the individual works on, and it gradually upgrades to this. Um, That's irritating. I'm going to stick a wooden stair there. I think that's a little annoying. Um, and this gradually develops from a big old pile of scrap on the ground to uh, a, a garage with the guys working inside it. And then to this, the stage three with lights and an upper floor and metals and various bits and pieces. It gets quite funky looking. Um, and the NPC will come and work this when it's daytime. Um, and this is all done automatically. You just lay the plots out and the settlers do it themselves. Um, you also have obviously the agricultural plots which feed your settlers. They start out as simple farms that only feed two people at once. Uh, can only produce two food and can go all the way up to producing six, I believe is the, is the biggest. Yes, I have recruited Tina. Uh, I killed her brother to get her out here and I gave her this shop to run. This is one of the uh, commercial plots, and again, it will go from one to uh, what level one, a simple shack, to level two with a door and a bit of lighting, to level three, which gets very complicated. Um, some of the houses get quite funky as well, as you can see. This house here with its uh, masses of decorations and, and its statues. I believe this is another one of the VIP houses. It certainly looks to be. It's got lots of uh, artwork and decoration. And I'm certain that this is a VIP house. Um, this is the level 3 liquor shop. You can buy various drinks and things from here. And the villagers, the settlers rather, will, will hang around in here. They'll set up shop and uh, come and bum around in here. And this is level three again, so it's got the lights, it's got the fancy sign. This is this is you know the fully upgraded liquor shop. That's another high level house, mid level house, bog standard, wrecked place. That's another third level manufacturing. This is a house that turned into a coffee shop and bakery. Again, I think this is a VIP house, but it has a cooking stove. Um, so it's another one with a cooking facility built into it. Um, so I quite like that, the idea that this is a, a little cafe. <laughs> it's quite sweet. Another two level house there. The grade three weapon shop with the robot head. The protectron head occasionally talks, which is quite cute. And he sells armors and what have you. More houses, more houses, more low rank houses. A mid rank house there with the door. And Furniture, uh, mid rank, that's a rank three. Another um, industrial one. My only, my only criticism of this mod, and it's not really fair because it's still in development. My only criticism of this mod is the industrial plots don't have a lot of variety. Um, the agricultural lots are all the same in the base mod, but they grow different plants, so they do have a visual difference, which is, you know, nice. But the industrial mods, the industrial plots all look the same. They all turn out to be identical. But I guess that's something he'll address as he updates the mod. That, that's literally the only criticism I have. Everything else about this mod is fantastic. Look how detailed and decorated the interiors are of these little houses. And this one, obviously, the caravan house. It's so cute. I love it. And again, this is an upgraded one because he's got lights. Wiring is, is kind of a headache because everything has to be wired because almost everything needs electricity now. If I go into build mode, you can see that these houses need varying levels of electricity. This one um, needs two, this one needs one, and a bog standard uh, house only needs one as well. This is the level three tailor. As you can see, it's got the Fallon sign above it. Stealth boys will be shot if found. And again, you go in here and it's, it's, a, it's a fully realized clothing store and he has lots of things for sale I don't know how these interact with the four star vendors um, I I don't know even if they do but I intend to find out Oops. so that's that one I have over here two for the price of two very clever obviously this is the medic um, various 
various drugs and things scattered around on a chemistry crafting station. And again, this is only uh, this is the rank one store. I only built this recently, so it's still yeah, it's still rank one. You know, I still really appreciate the fact that you're not an idiot. Okay, thanks, Piper. Uh, thanks. I guess. No, I I didn't mean like. I could just use some help. This isn't the sort of thing I'd normally bother anyone else with, but you just seem really good with people, and I've got this issue with my sister, Nat. Becoming me. Well, this is the weirdest time to get this mission to start. Becoming me? What do you mean? I'm just terrified she's gonna start picking up like a big sis. I mean, think about the life we lead. No offense intended, Lou, but personal safety doesn't exactly seem like either of our strong suits. Ah, she'll be fine. Up like her big sister, dodging bullets and running from all the people she pisses off. It's part of the reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. Now you're here with me because you wanted me to tell you a nice Maybe story. If I make myself scarce, if I'm not around her enough, she'll cool off. She'll just go back. This is weird, you doing this in the armor. You just love her. Family's precious. The last thing you want to do is drive them away, because you might lose them forever. You're right. I can't risk that. Thanks, Lou. Could expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well. You really don't make them like you anymore. You're a hell of a friend, you know that? Just friends, huh? Uh, well, yeah. I guess. I, I, th I thought so. Unless, you know, something changes. God, does it get hot in here? Nah. Okay. It's just your suit malfunctioning. for listening. It's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. I will romance so, you because I want you your perk. No, I want to hit you because I want your perk. That came out wrong. So, anyway, before we were rudely interrupted by Piper, this is the, the Sims Settlement mod. And again, I highly recommend this to anyone who wants to make their settlements a bit more interactive, a bit more fleshed out, a bit more fun in general. Although the odd part about this is my villagers all huh? seem to want to hang around the weightlifting station. I only built it because it adds bonus happiness and everyone wants to hang around it. All my armor is just scattered around everywhere. I'm so lazy. I need to tidy all this up. Right, Carla, um, have you got any yeah. junk worth buying before I go and turn everything in? Come on, talk to me. Carla. Back again? Time to do business? Let's see what you have. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. <sighs> you got the armor that doesn't look like trash, because my gear looks awful. Crap. Bowl, duct tape, duct tape, duct tape, wonder glue, yay! Hot plate, hot plate. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't actually need another robot right now. It would be nice to fix up the ones I've got. I need plenty of adhesive and ceramic for that, but I've got loads of ceramic now. No, I want those. Yes, give me that. Right, what can I sell to you? Uh, still buy value. Uh, I don't need the baseball bat. I don't need the 10 mil. I'll keep the short assault because I might be able to do something interesting with it. that to Piper just for shits and giggles. I want the mining oh I'm gonna put the mining helmet on someone. Uh, alloy tincture helmet, yeah that's mine. My aid. Let's sell all the stuff I never use. Keep that it's going in the collection. Keep that no actually get rid of the medex. It's not the medex is it? There we are. Trug alarms, yeah there we go. <sighs> Stop doing that you wally. You can tell I'm getting tired and pressing the wrong button. Store all the junk now. Pippa. Piper. Hey, Piper, here. Pippa. Oh, thank you for the sugar. Hey. That's all. Okay. Hold, Hold position. Pippa. Okay. I'll be here. Oh, right. Yeah, that's right. I want everything. No, I don't. Uh, I want everything but the gun I gave you. doing it that 